hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel as i promised here's a part two and this part two is going to be about this old time called pilgrim rest i'm hoping i'm saying it right but yeah um literally each um house rooms are basically our uh, museums so you're literally just gonna be seeing clips there and there and i might do a voiceover as now you can see these are old cars which is pretty cool yeah so enjoy the video and there will be a video more about this town by a guide who knows more about this town especially the mining it's really well known for its mining especially the gold and we also did gold panning you know we were trying to get some gold ourselves you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but anyway yeah i'll see you you you'll hear me actually you'll hear me later um guess who's back again not even one second but like i said these rooms are basically museums or back in the day with someone's house but yeah just they show you the interior the victorian like style like the really old style which is pretty cool and you know all the antique stuff this is like the porch the outside and we are going to um the owner shop you know like the people who own like you know the groceries and behind the shop it's like their house where they their kids and maybe wife you know were living and they were, like when like a customer would come they probably would just go to the front and all that this is their kitchen dining room porch outside moving on we are going to more of the history um the war and we also about the Betty king yeah which is very interesting and as a person who does history this is really wow. interesting and yeah we are going into the shop where you can dress up in a victorian style so you can see i was having a hard time i was literally having a hard time to pick what i was gonna wear but i ended up wearing this and yeah this is literally the, the cute behind the scenes shoots of it which it was pretty cool it was really cool um, i remember i remember this group of people like we were taking pictures outside um with the lady and then um these people were just looking at us you know and i think they got inspired to also do i don't know if they did take a picture but it was pretty cool so um yeah now we're in the exciting part of the vlog so here's the guy talk so they started all off at Mac because that was between lighting back at Mac Mac. Mm. So, so they prospected followed the strings until but it fall about the Mac Mac. That's where the Mac Mac falls and the Mac Mac falls are today. They wanted to go and see. Yes. Yeah. So um. that place was originally known as Hiel Hot Brook because in Nima Yellow plant. Yeah. But moreover, those Scottish guys, when they are pre Max, McDonald's, McFarland, oh, McIntyre, what do you mean? Say, what's up? Mac Mac. Yeah. What do you mean? Mac So, one of them, Alec Wilbarrow Peterson, uh, he felt that we were crowded. He decided to go alone, follow the same stream. After 10 miles, he did to the Segal. And then, the Segal lady, the new. But unfortunately, because there was nothing here, the only place where you can go and buy food was back to Medmeg. We are he was forced to go back to Medmeg with your ten goods. When he went back there, Bang and back here, they were so amazed. It's okay. The guy left here, yeah, hang on a loot. Yeah. Manje is carrying, suddenly he's, he's carrying so bags of gold. We thought I planned. Ah, no. This is gold. So, Masuga Nale, they decided to follow him very secretly. Until Bam Tola Kona, Lamlem Fula. So, what? Ha. Oh, this is where we'd fit the corner. Tola Kona, Le Gold, Nabo, by a pen, by Tola, what do you say, Nin? So one of them was uh, William Trafford. 
we were trying his luck at the upper section of the stream mm. and we were totally bored the Gakulu. So we were in Trafford. That's yeah. how I came back to you. Local, yeah. Alec Peterson. Mm. Mm. Alec Peterson. His name was to Wilbarrow because he was pushing all his belongings near Wilbarrow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Mm. So the Lum guy, William Trafford, I told her about Pezulingana, you were shouting. He was so happy. Mm. He said, This pilgrim is now at rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. yeah. That's where the name came from. So because Trafford bega bega ngana chela sanga leyo ndlela wa rasha back wa yemek meg what say guys musi lana siyadlala la la siyadlala follow one me and don't bone follow me but thola bonke babuya ngala ba thola ukuthi ngala kuyahlisa yeah ah ba vele ba chela the gold commissioner mcdonald ba faka ma tent ba faka ma tent up to the stream where it's joining the blade river in downtown yeah which is connect by control we have to divide the camp into three camps. Mm. It's upper town, middle town, and a lower town. Mm. That is why Nyalosu is near downtown and yeah, uptown yeah. only. Yeah. But Lanema Diggings was known as the upper town. Mm. So he camp we accommodated about 500 people mm. because there were about 1,500 diggers already. Mm. Yes. So it was about 47 by 47 square meters. Mm. Mm. Quite big. Mm. But you don't go more than two meters deep because once you go more than two meters deep, it's like you are mining. No. And our mineral rights. When you want yeah. to do mining, mm. at least you must have mineral rights. Yeah. And if you got two Rama mineral rights, you were supposed to pay one thousand pounds for the whole year. Mm. So yeah. Nanya, when you look at the price of the pound, if yeah. you watched the news last night, yeah. when any pound <laughs> has went up. So what yeah. thousand pounds mm. even now, it's still a lot of money. Mm. So those guys were I so poor, sure. they could not yeah. afford that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So but he said that it's okay, we are going to work not more than two yeah. meters deep, yeah. but then you can have as many claims as possible. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's about 32 grams, mm. a fillet a teaspoonful of the gold pieces, mm. that is one fine ounce. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. this is the price of an ounce. Yeah. It's mm. 32 grams. Yeah, it's a yeah. Of the gold of gold. Yeah. 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 They were working yeah. for 12 yeah. hours in a and day. The yeah. bakala was 6 in the morning, they'll finish off at 6 in the evening. Mm. Yeah. So you have to make sure we see the bakala taxi and then the rest is not a good So life was very hard and unsympathetic. It was not very, very easy to get the gold. Mobile, it's not like now in a mine where they have machines. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have any of those fancy machines. Mm -hmm. a big rock. Mm -hmm. Where they believe that there might be gold in that rock. Mm -hmm. They have to crush it until Liverpool does it. Mm -hmm. But then they didn't have any dynamites, any explosives. Mm -hmm. They have to make fire on the rock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So a lot of them were badly crushed because some of them were badly crashed, my accidents, lunch, they were no hospitals around here. And but as far as death rate, they were record yola. Now when you be able to go malaria, snake bites, such a fly, very life being as fancy general. And there was no TV, yeah. no PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> so by 22 September 1873, that's when Pilgrim Stress was officially declared as a new gold field. A barber and a tent maker. He probably oh. made a lot of money from oh. making tents because they did not have permanent structures. Yeah. They used my tents because Anita, you cannot build a house. You don't know when the gold rush will end. Maybe yeah. you build a house in the next two months. Yeah. Then you go. So it's, yeah. it's a lot. So yeah. they use tents so that um, but okay, nyalo zia kare la di bet. Zia pega our tents. We move to the next town. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that's how they lived. Mm -hmm. By 1881, just after the first war of independence, in the Kanabu decline, ah, the the gold develop ah, sabo nagaliga. So je ba pila je mo kagamete. So ba figa Ireland and financial David Benjamin. I want to have a meeting with you, Lavan Sun and Madeleine's land. Because he knew that he called the corner underground. That's when they were not supposed to go more than two meters deep. Okay, I'm going to give you now the option. 
Lena Davan says, Lena Grama claims, non compensate for your claims. Mm. I will bring big machinery here. Yeah. We will start mining. We don't touch our foot underground. Mm. No money, no experience. Because in Wales, there's a very big coal company there. So I will bring those people who have experience in yeah. working underground. Mm -hmm. They will teach you nothing and catch and to seven dollars. But then I'm the same thing. I'm compensate. But yeah, 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 yeah. Put right, put right. You want to have a compensate, have a compensate. You are former a small company. By by this of the TGE, the Transvaal Gold Exploration. Mm -hmm. So the Tanga Nana, these small mining companies, because we're gonna have few branches, Sabi, Lightingberg, Lena, Le, was Tanga Nisa by 1896, was former the big company, ETGMT, Transvaal Gold Mining Estate. We should put some for the next coming five years. Ah, what is that? Coming 1939 to 1945. The second world war. Yeah. Ah. So from there on, after the war, but Babona was so Kenyalo, the mine, some of the mines were already closed because Pilgrim Ray, they say not 26 gold mines by then. Mm. So Lamani began value because we got collapse. And Lamani at Walaman, they could not have an hour drill, but decided for the. So Lawa began feel, began say, began say, Angasa. After that really informative lesson about this town and the history of mining in this town, um, we start to learn more um, about the camp we started to look around how the early settlers lived way before those buildings we saw from the beginning so this is really pretty cool this is how the town looked like this is really interesting as a history major this just opened my eyes more to south african history like to be honest i didn't know about this town and it was quite amazing it's quite cool to learn about it so yeah and this guide was really nice she, she is just she really has passion to her job and you know it's really nice to hear about this town so yeah i might leave the video here um oh actually not really but we start we're gonna do panning as you can see me and voiceovers are not best friends <laughs> Me and Vosovers are not best friends. But yeah, we are also going to learn how to pan um, our gold. So that's it. Bye. And even vigorously, otherwise you are going to lose whatever that you've got. Mm -hmm. But imagine some of them were working for more than 12 hours. Banga told it was all about luck. Kufana ne lottery, when you play the lottery there, there's no guarantee that all the six numbers are yours. So I just hope today is here. It's all like a land. So from Shava Lose, we take them fully. But don't expect bigger pieces or tiny specs. Can you see on camera? Yeah, yeah. That's why we get like what you can go to our world. Yeah. Mm. Ah. I keep the Ah, mommy found it. Mommy found it.